Hey, what's up everybody, Retro Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're going to unbox, demo, and review this power bank product right here. This is the Lano 20,000 milliamp hour, 65 watt power bank. Now what's really cool about this is it delivers a lot of power to the device that we actually connect it to. And I've personally been looking for something to provide power on the go to handheld video game consoles. I think we've all been in a situation where we're using our handheld while traveling or while on the go and the battery starts to quickly deplete. Then we may not be close by a power outlet to actually charge it up or continue to charge it while still using it. So that's where a portable power bank like this would come into play. So I wanna actually test this out with handheld game consoles today to see if this is going to be sufficient for powering those on the go. So let's dive in and first unbox this, take a look at the functions and features of this, and then give it a thorough testing. All right, here is our product right here. We'll go ahead and start unboxing this. All right, so inside here, we have our cables right here, it looks like. All right, so here's our actual power bank and it is much smaller than I was anticipating. I thought it would be something that's close to the same size as the entire box here. We have our user manual, which I'll thumb through in a moment. We have a little carrying case here, which is nicely put together. Nice way to obviously store this and travel with it. And right here we have a type C to type C cable connection. And I imagine that's gonna be how we actually provide the power and charge the actual power bank itself. So I'll set that aside. Let's thumb through the manual here. English is on the first side. So it walks through exactly how you would go about charging this and you could charge it. You can actually charge multiple products on here. They're demoing charging a entire laptop, a cell phone, looks like an iPhone there. So I definitely think this is gonna provide substantial uh, power to be able to actually handle powering a handheld game console as I've hoped for you know, this case. All right, so here we have everything unboxed. Now this is much smaller than I was anticipating, as I said before, definitely very compact, and it's also relatively lightweight. Now with any power bank, you're gonna have a little bit of weight involved, but I've tested out quite a few, and this is one of the lighter options out there. So right up here at the top, we have two connections. We have our USB-A connection, and then we have a USB Type-C connection right up here. So that is going to be all that we can actually connect to this, but what's cool about this too, is the fact that we have a power button right here and a LED display that tells us what percentage the entire power bank is charged to. So right now we have 76% battery life on here. This is how it came to me with 76%. So that's certainly good considering, you know, this has probably been on a shelf for a while. So you can see that it does actually hold its charge, but let's go ahead and actually see if we can power and charge a handheld console. So I'm gonna go ahead and provide this connection right here. This is the type C, which we can actually power the actual power bank with this connection, then just plug this to something else, or we can go ahead and power directly from this to another device. It works both ways, which is certainly a uh, cool option to have here. All right. So we've got our cable connection. Now I'm going to bring over my Ambernic RG35 XX plus handheld video game console. Now, currently this is not powered on. So I want to see if this works right off the bat. This actually powers from a Type-C connection, which we have right down here. So I'm going to go ahead and just simply plug that in. We're going to take a look at it. Now I do have a light up here at the top that does indicate that it is charging. Let's see if we have the on-screen uh, display populating in. It does usually take a couple seconds for that to populate in. It does show us the empty battery there, and there we go. We saw there, I can hit it again, you can see the green going up and down, so it is charging this. So I'm going to let this kind of do its thing. I'll come back here momentarily and we'll see what it's charged up to. Currently we're at 58%. So I'm going to kind of keep a eye on the clock and see how long it takes to actually charge this up, you know, maybe um, 5%. That would give us an idea at least of, you know, how well this works and how quickly it'll work as well. All right. So I left these connected now for just over 10 minutes. It's actually been 11 minutes since it took me about a minute to get set up here in front of the camera again. So I want to first show you guys that we are at 70% here on the actual power bank. So we've barely, you know, dropped down in the percentage that we have left on the actual power bank itself. Now let me see what we have for battery on here. We are at 71% on here. So 71% and we started at 58%. So we're averaging 
over 10% per 10 minutes, which definitely seems to be adding quite a bit of power to this. So we are able to charge this up quickly on the go. But the cool thing is we don't even have to shut this off to continue to actually charge up our handheld. We can continue gaming on here as long as this is connected. Obviously, it's going to actually charge up much slower if we're still putting it through use. But you certainly could do that, and that's a great way to extend your gameplay on the go. So love what this actually offers. I love the fact that it is so compact. And I love, of course, the fact that the battery on the actual power bank isn't depleting rapidly. We're able to continue to you know, still have a heavy percentage of power left on this. As we're powering devices, we have up to two connections that we can actually make on here. So definitely offers some significant power. And this is gonna be great for powering iPads, for powering cell phones, for powering laptops. And of course you saw it here, game consoles that we can take with us on the go. So definitely like this product. I think that it certainly offers us quite a bit uh, of power on the go. So definitely check it out. I'll put a link up here at the top of your screen as well as in the description of this video. Click over, get some additional information, see if it's a good fit for you, but certainly worked for me today. And uh, I think it'll be a great option to take with you on the go. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed the content today. And of course, hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos right here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.